Dear students of 10th class, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Today we will try to understand the play from page number 56 onwards. Natalia apologizes for her apron and dress as they had been shelling peas for drying and asks him to be comfortable. She even offers him lunch. On being asked for lunch, Lomo tells her that he had already had his. She then offers Lomo to smoke. She talks about the great weather they were experiencing that day and how ba bad it was the previous day that the workmen couldn't do anything the entire day. She starts talking about her haystack and how she had been greedy enough to get the entire field cut, which is worrying her now while talking. She suddenly notices his dress and guesses if he is going for the ball. She compliments him and asks him the occasion. Lomo begins talking and warns her that she could be surprised or even angry upon hearing. He feels strangely cold. Natalia asks him the matter of his concern. Lomo tries to be brief in his approach. He begins by recalling the good relations between both of their families from the beginning. His late aunt and her husband respected Natalia's parents. He even mentions that their lads are neighbors to each other and his oxen meadows touch their birch woods. Natalia questions the integrity of Lobo by asking if the oxen meadows that he claims to own are actually his. Lomo affirms she couldn't believe what she was hearing because according to her the oxen meadows are hers. Lomo explains that they are his. Natalia says that she was not aware of it and asked Lomo for an explanation. Lomo clarifies and points out the exact oxen meadows he is talking about. The ones that are wedged between your birch woods and burnt marsh. Natalia also confirms that she is talking about those particular meadows only. Lomo thinks that is some Lomo thinks that there is some misunderstanding that Natalia has because he is very sure that they are his. Natalia tells Lomo to think that for how long have the oaks and meadows his. Lomo replies that they have been his forever. Natalia commented that she could not believe him. Lomo mentions that he has proof that the land belongs to him. He even highlights that once Oaks and Meadows were a disputed property, but the issue had been resolved and they are now his. He goes back into its history and specifies that his aunt's grandmother had given the 
free use of these needles in perpetuity to the peasants of her father's grandfather. According to him, it was given for 40 years and the peasants got in the habit of regarding it as their own. Natalia disagrees. Since childhood, she has heard from her grandfather and great-grandfather that their land extended till the burnt marsh. She completely trusted them and doesn't see any point in arguing about its ownership. Thanks.